In this video, we're going to start taking a look at one of the most important concepts in our study of algebra. This is a concept that we're going to study throughout Unit 10, and it's going to be one that comes up frequently throughout our future studies of algebra. So it's a really important foundational concept that we're going to look at called factoring. Factoring means we simply write something as a product. For example, if we had the number 6 and we wanted to factor it, we would write it as a product, maybe 2 times 3. We call that the prime factorization of 6. We've written it as a product, and that's what we're going to attempt to do here in this video with what is called the greatest common factor. You may recall from our previous work with algebra, when we've got something in front of parentheses, it can distribute onto both of them. And we see we end up with AB plus AC. We're going to kind of do this process backwards today by noticing that what these both had in common was the A. That's their common factor, if you will. That greatest common factor gets moved in front and then if you divide that out of each term, what is left, the b plus c, can go into the parentheses. So in other words, we'll identify the greatest common factor, pull that in front of parentheses, and then what's left when we divide it out goes into those parentheses. We're really distributing in reverse. So for example, when we look at 9x to the 4th minus 12x cubed plus 6x squared, and we want to identify first the greatest common factor, we look at 9, 12, and 6, and we say, well, we can divide each of those terms by 3. But they also have x's in common. They have at least two x's in common. Recall we use the lowest exponent that they all share. And so we can divide 3x squared out of each factor. So 3x squared comes out, and then what's left is going to go into the parentheses. We're undistributing or dividing out the 3x squared from each term. So on the first term, 9 divided by 3 is 3. x to the 4th over x squared is x squared, subtracting exponents here. Negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4 x cubed over x squared is just x. And then finally, 6 over 3 is positive 2, and the x squareds divide out, and we're left with our factored 3x squared times 3x squared minus 4x plus 2. We are undistributing the greatest common factor. Let's look at example 2. In example 2, we've got 21, 14, and 7. Those are each divisible by 7. They also share a in common. We'll take the lowest exponent, a squared. We can divide that onto all of them. And then they also all share b. Since they all have a b in common, we can divide that out of all of them. And again, using the lowest exponent, they all have at least 4 b's that we can divide out. So when we do, 20, well, first pull that 7a squared b to the 4th. That's the greatest common factor out in front. 21 divided by 7 is 3. a to the 4th over a squared is a squared. And then we're left with 1b. Negative 14 divided by 7 is negative 2. a cubed over a squared is a. b to the 7th over b to the 4th is b cubed, subtracting the exponents again. And finally, in this last fraction, you notice everything divides out. Be careful, everything divides out does not mean it disappears. 7 divided by 7 is 1. When everything reduces out, there should be 1. I want to notice that in the factored expression, there's 1, 2, 3 terms, just like in the problem, 1, 2, three terms. You'll never have less terms when you factor out the GCF. So be careful of that common error. 
So we have our final factored expression. We factored out the GCF, so we have 7a squared b to the fourth times 3a squared b minus 2ab cubed plus 1. Factoring a common factor means we put the GCF out front and divide each term by the GCF. What's left goes in the parentheses.